Hey everybody, this is problem number 18 on the week two quiz access for chapters one and 12, uh, also known as exercise 12-1 if you're not going to BYU-Idaho, um, but you're still using this textbook. Uh, these exercise numbers here uh, are the same across any college. These are what the textbook publisher puts in there. So they want us to indicate whether a given item or where it would appear on the cash flow statement um, using the indirect method. So it just wants us to put an X in the correct column. Um, and so let's just look at these. If we issue common stock for cash, so operating activities mean those activities that involve buying and selling the stuff that a business regularly buys and sells. So if it's a store, then it would be the inventory that they're selling from the store. If it's a doctor's office, it would be those medical services they sell. So that's operating activities. Investing activities is where we put money into assets like buildings or land or, or equipment, or when we sell those uh, assets, we get money out of them. So we would be selling something, but not the regular thing we sell. Um, you know, if we sell off an old x-ray machine from the doctor's office, we would make money from that, but it's not part of our regular operating activities. It's an investing activity. Finally, financing activities is anytime we borrow money for the business from a lender, or we raise money through, uh, through, uh, equity, like by having the owners or stockholders pay cash in, um, or if we pay off money by by buying back stock or paying off loans. So that's a, a broad discussion of what those are. So if we issue common stock, that means that means people are buying into the business and getting an equity position or becoming part owners of the business. That's a financing activity. Prepaid expenses increase for the year. So this is where we're paying money ahead but for expenses that we'll be paying throughout the year. So we're gonna call that an operating activity. Purchase treasury stock. This is buying back stock that's already out there. So that's part of our financing. Accounts receivable decreases. This means we're uh, money that was owed to us is getting paid by the people who owe it. So we're collecting money from customers. So that's part of our operating activities. Our inventory increasing. Uh, this is where we are buying inventory, which is part of what we buy and sell. Um, so we're going to call that an operating activity. Retiring bonds payable. So bonds payable are like a, a loan we receive. And so to retire a bond means to pay it off. And so that's part of our financing activities, borrowing or paying off loans. Recording depreciation expense is part of our regular operations. So we're gonna do operating activities. Sold land in return for cash. So here we're selling land. We're gonna put investing activities. Remember that's buying assets or selling assets that are not part of our regular day-to-day -day buying and selling. Income taxes payable. So paying taxes that are in this case, it increased so we owe more on our taxes. That's part of operating and then sold merchandise to customers for cash. That's going to be part of our operating. Now it's possible there was a lot going on there. And so it's possible I made an error. So even though I've done this lots of times, I'm still going to check my work and see if I made a mistake. And look, I did make one. So when I look at it more closely, I just read, reti read retired bonds thinking I was paying off those bonds. But it says I retired them by issuing stock. And so what that means is instead of paying cash, I gave stock or a share of ownership in the business uh, to the people. Um, and so this isn't a financing activity because it's a non-cash activity. No cash ever took, you know, changed hands. So I'm going to get rid of that and say this is a non-cash investing or financing activity. And actually, it's kind of a, well, it's a financing activity, right? I'm paying off a loan, but I'm doing it by issuing stock. So that would usually appear like in the notes of my financial statements instead of on the statement of cash flows. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. You can always put them in the comments. Uh, and don't be afraid to like 
or subscribe as that helps more people see what we're doing and uh, helps more people get help on their homework. Anyway, have a great day and I hope it was useful to you.